amazing way to end this magical <laughs> evening of music making. A reminder that there is almost nothing like the power of music to bring us together. You know, the BBC Proms is really a musical celebration like no other. So, we leave you with the traditional last night medley from across the UK, including our friends at the Royal Albert Hall. With today's news stories often highlighting religious hostility, persecution and tension between faiths, I'd like to know why His Royal Highness believes that bridges can still be built. Um, Your Royal Highness, why did you decide to visit the Armenian, Chaldean and Syrian Orthodox churches? And can visiting really help? Documents and records is one very special piece of parchment, which we will be seeing later on. We're here to mark the 800th birthday of what is perhaps the most famous single document ever to have been written in Britain. It is, of course, the Magna Carta. We've had tears, we've had laughter, we've had a roller coaster of emotion. And although the finishing line is one step closer, for the remaining 25, this is where the competition gets really tough. This is boot camp. I've decided that I'm going to win today. OK, I second that. Oh, a confident duo. Bullseye. You need to I know never you're... liked him anyway. No, you deserve to win. Yeah. You're a lady. Yeah. You are amazing. Come on. Listen, yeah? I'm going to buy you a glass of champagne Thank to you. celebrate your loss. Oh. Oh. Come on, then. Bye, Phil. God bless, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's over. Oh. She's good, buddy. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Let's go back out here and we used to play literally on this green we used to play rounders and we used to have such fun did you get a sense of community after definitely, a while definitely everybody knew everybody i think a lot of that what happens to you as a young person so is about the person you become as an adult and um the house has changed a lot but this area and that house i'd say it saved our lives Fantastic. i'm fit and we're walking up some pretty steep, uh, precarious steps, muddy steps. And it's just occurred to me that women and children have to come up here day in, day out, carrying barrels of water. I just don't know how these people do it. It's, it's incredible. It's not that difficult, with the right sort of support, to, to take a child off the street. But what's much more useful, what's much more long-lasting, what's much more beneficial, is for a child not to be on the street in the first place. We really do need to think about prevention, and one of the best ways of preventing a child being exposed to the horrors of the street is to get to the parents, to get to the families, and to repair families. And that's what's being done here.